Hello guys, I'm Anjay here and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to install Android Nougat on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 3. Android Nougat is Android 7.0 or the latest Android that we have. And in order to install this ROM, you will need to boot into TWRP Recovery. And if you have not flashed TWRP Recovery on your device, then I'll give the guide for that in the description box below. So do not forget to check it out. And to boot into TWRP Recovery, switch off your device. Once the device is switched off, hold the volume up button and power button together. After booting into TWRP recovery, if you see some menu like this, then select swipe to allow modifications. If you do not see something like this, it's completely fine. And the first thing that you should do is go ahead and backup the current ROM so that if anything goes wrong while flashing the Sanation Mod 14 ROM, then you can simply restore this backup and you will be back on the ROM which you have right now. Once the backup is completed, go back, go back, go back and select wipe over here and select swipe to factory reset. After that's done, go back, select install over here. Select the Sanation Mod 14 zip file and just swipe to confirm flash. This will flash the Sanation Mod 14 ROM on this device and all the bugs which are present in the ROM will be described in the description box below. I may not talk about them in the video because I have not tested the ROM thoroughly but don't forget to check the description box below because all the bugs will be mentioned over there. This ROM is not completely stable for daily use as of now but in a month's time uh, and if you are watching in October then the ROM might be stable. So that's why check out the title and if the title says stable that means the ROM is pretty much stable to be used on daily basis but this ROM is based on Android Nougat and to experience Android Nougat I would any day install this ROM and then maybe revert back to MIUI or any ROM that I like. Once this installation is complete, go back and now select the Open G Apps package and select Swipe to confirm Flash. All the download links will be in the description box below, so you do not have to worry about that. Once this zip file is installed too, you can simply go ahead and select Reboot and select System over here. Now the device will boot into Android NuGet. So I'll just set up the ROM and I'll be back in a minute. So we have successfully booted into the ROM and now let's go into settings. Then go into about phone and if we tap on Android version, then you can see that it is based on Android Nougat or Android 7.0. And this is a Cyanogen Mod 14 ROM and not a pure AOSP build. So you can expect multiple customization options in the ROM after few updates. After this, you can see that this is Android Nougat and the settings menu is completely changed and reworked and in Android version 6.0 for WLAN, it just says WLAN but in Android 7.0, in Android Nougat, it says Wi-Fi and disconnected, Bluetooth and disabled. So if we just scroll down the notification bar, the notification bar will come down like this which is a different thing as compared to what we have in Android 6.0 and when we scroll down once you will not see any quick setting struggle in Android 6.0 whereas you can see multiple quick setting struggle in Android 7.0 if you scroll down once again you can see multiple quick setting struggles over here and same is on Android 6.0 and the ROM seems to be pretty good and as I said earlier I will add all the bugs and my review of this ROM in the description box below I'll give a website link in the description box below so just check it out And now let's take a look at the camera application and uh, let's try to click a picture. Okay, so the camera seems to be very good over here and the picture that I clicked 
is also impressive not bad at all considering that this is the first build of Sanjay Mod 14 ROM and before you ask me VoLT is not working in the ROM as of now so you will have to use GeoJoin application in order to make calls so yeah this was pretty much it for the how to install guide of Sanjay Mod 14 on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 3 I'll be coming up with detailed review of this ROM in future once the ROM gets a little bit stable so don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below because whenever I'll upload the Sanjay Mod 14 review for the Xiaomi Redmi Note 3 you guys will come to know about that as soon as possible so yeah don't forget to smash the thumbs up button if you like this video and let's see if we can reach 600 likes on this video so don't forget to smash that thumbs up button so yeah thank you guys thank you for watching